fear will rise and overcome you if you keep speaking. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Coming up on Atmosphere of Love. Because of the fear, the devil saw that there was a way to test mm. Job because mm. he had a fear. Mm. Fear is a weakness. Yes. Because it's a weak, wherever there's weakness, test will come from the devil. Mm. Because that's how he can get you. Otherwise, if you don't have fear, if you bold, we say it releases God's power. Yes. And the enemy can. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmund Sokorode. Hello, and I'm Prophetess Joanna Okorode. I'm here to inform you that our broadcast has changed. Every Friday, 9 p.m., we'll be on air here in this channel. And uh, online, you can get and watch our channel, our yes, our programs, 24 hours through our website, and you will never remain the same. And you will see some other wonderful things also in our YouTube channel. Get connected. God bless you. 9. We are an atmosphere of love. Every time. God bless you. Atmosphere of love. Hello and welcome to Atmosphere of Love. This is Apostle Edwards saying. Hello and this is Prophetess Joanna in Atmosphere of Love once again. Amen. Uh, we have been looking at uh, uh, the fear factor and uh, Today we're looking at how fear operates. How do fear operate? You see, we uh, many people uh, just find themselves getting scared. They don't know that actually they, they did, did something. Yeah, because they did nothing something. happens by chance. Yes. everything has a root. Yes. basically, man, man, human race, fear began with disobedience to God's See, command. Like you said. So when we operate things that we are not supposed to in a way, mm. when we operate like that, we allow and when we entertain a lot of things without our knowledge, even Christians do those things without their knowledge because of lack of knowledge of how they must live, how they must be. They entertain a lot of things in their lives and that gives birth to this kind of negative, attracts negative spirits working in their life. Yeah. And we have to really decode for them how these spirits ca came in. Mm. You know, spirits don't just jump anyhow like that. The demons do, mm. but uh, they jump in the atmosphere that is comfortable. Worms don't locate salt. Yes. Lions don't lick fire. Mm. You know, it's, it's that way. So let's see uh, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter, chapter 6, six verse 2. That's it. It says, Thou art snared with the words of your mouth. Mm. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. That's it. So, mm. with our mouth. Let's see another. Another translation. Uh, let's, let's, let's see another translation so that we can... And after we see this translation, I want to show you Proverbs 18. Mm. Okay? Uh, it says, verse 3, it said, Do this, my son, and make yourself free. Can you imagine? Mm. Because you have come into the power of your neighbor, you see, and come to the power of your neighbor. Go without waiting and make a strong request of your neighbor. It says, it says, verse 2, Father, mm. it says, You are taken as in a net, mm. you know, net, mm. by, you're <laughs> trapped. Yeah, by the words of your mouth. It means with your own mouth, you put yourself into the trap. Mm. The saints of your lips have overcome you. Mm. Saying, I fear, I fear this, I fear that. You know, I remember Job. When Job passed through all that he passed through, people mm. think it's a test of the Lord. Mm. And people <laughs> today embrace the test that come in their life. And they say, Jesus went to the test. Job went to the test. So God puts test on us and it's not true. It's Why? Not. Because here in Job chapter 3, mm. Job clearly said that because I feared these things, he feared losing everything in his life. Mm. He feared losing his family. He feared losing all that he possessed. 
he feared his life, losing his life. So because of the fear, he said, because I had the, of the fear that I had, mm. these things have come upon me. Because of the fear, the devil saw that there was a way to <coughs> test Job because mm. he had a fear. Mm. Fear is a weakness. Yes. Because it's a weak, wherever there's weakness, test will come from the devil. Mm. Because that's how he can get you. Otherwise, if you don't have fear, if you bold, we say it releases God's power. Yes. And the enemy cannot because he's just wasting his time yes. testing you in yes. that area. Yes. But if you have a weakness, whichever area it may be, fear is a weakness. If yes. you have that weakness, he comes yes. to tempt you. And that's how I saw Job because of what he had the fear. So from Job's, yeah, from Job's story, it. you mm. are saying that many things happen in the life of people yes. because of their secret yes. fears. Many people lose jobs yes. because of their secret yes. fears. Many people have problem in their marriage because of their secret fears. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that? Because that's what the scripture says. Yes. What I feared has come upon me. You know, if you say marriage, it's mm. because of fear, the words that they speak is what they speak and they trap themselves mm. into it. For example, everything will be fine. They mm. will just start speaking things. Mm. And a very small matter will be in between the spouse and that can become a big fire and cause separation and divorce and in that small thing when it comes out is because of fear that they have they start communicating exchanging words upon each other and those words form a trap for them to fall into it's the a net. yes you say your words have overcome you hmm. not satan that's what bbe -E say yes your words have overcome you i want us to read matthew 12 Matthew 12, what Jesus said about this. Mm. Fear will rise and overcome you if you keep speaking that way. Yes. I fear that uh, I will lose my job. I fear, will, I fear the loan for this car will not mm. be fully paid. They will take this car. They will take it. When you speak your fear, it will rise and overcome you. Let's see Matthew 12. Let's read from verse um, 36. From verse 36 to 37. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Mm. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Here Jesus showed us how our words mm. can do something to our life. Yes. Yeah. And also when you say yeah. give account, people yeah. only think of one day will give account yes. of it. <clears throat> one of the ways you give account is that you will see the feedback. Mm. One of the way you give account, you will see the feedback of what you have done. Mm. That is an account. Okay. One of the ways. People only think that the only way we give account is just to stand in the presence of God and say, I spoke like this, I spoke I like that. Uh, no, 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 no. You will see the effect. The effect of your words. I want to say this to you out there. The way you are today is the words you spoke yesterday. Yes. Also, the, yeah. yeah, the victories you are experiencing today is the words you spoke like yesterday. Like the Bible says, the life and death is in the power of your tongue. That's Proverbs 18. I told you we will go there. Yes. That's Proverbs 18. He said, life and death the power of your tongue. And they that yes. love it shall be filled with the fruit thereof. Yes. Life and death is the power of the tongue. Are you there yes. in the book of Proverbs? Yeah. Read it. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. See? They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life. What are you speaking? What are you speaking? You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmund Sokorode. Hello, and I'm Prophetess Joanna Okorode. I'm here to inform you that our broadcast has changed. Every Friday, 9 p.m., will be on air here in this channel. And uh, online, you can get and watch our channel, our yes, our programs, 24 hours through our website, and you will never remain the same. And you will see some other wonderful things also in our YouTube channel. Get connected. God bless you. 9 p.m. Atmosphere of love. Every Friday. God bless you. eternal life into my spirit I declare that I am saved I am born again I am a child of God I now have Christ dwelling in me I am a new creation hallelujah 
if you have just said that prayer, congratulations, you are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth. And He faced the things that we're facing. Passed through the difficulties that we passed through. And was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was sinless. The seed of God's Word became flesh. And He died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations, you are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmund Sokorede. Hello, and I'm Prophetess Joanna Okorode. I'm here to inform you that our broadcast has changed. Every Friday, 9 p.m., we'll be on air here in this channel. And uh, online, you can get and watch our channel, our, yes, our programs 24 hours through our website, and you will never remain the same. And you will see some other wonderful things also in our YouTube channel. Get connected. God bless you. 9 p.m. We an atmosphere of love. Every Friday. God bless you. Atmosphere of love. Life. What mm. are you speaking? Mm. What are you speaking? Some people call their children names. Yes. Death is in your tongue. Life is in your tongue. So, so the, the tongue is powerful, you know. So, fear operates by words. Mm. Fear coming by words. When you speak those fearful words, fear come into your family and begin to work. Mm. When you speak your fear, it rises and it will swallow you up. But when you speak your faith, it overcomes that situation. Yes. It breaks the power of fear. And people, it brings a solution. It brings a solution. But it fear advances the problem. Yes, it does. Yes. You know, I, I remember the time they had an explosion in Nigeria. Uh, what happened was uh, there was some silly mistake someone did in, in the arms store where the army store their arms. They put some hot thing there. So mm. it, it caught fire and <laughs> the arms started exploding by themselves. You could see the news in the radio. You could hear SMS everywhere. They said Nigeria is under attack. People were running away from their houses. People were getting ready to fly out of the country. Why? They said Nigeria is under attack. The rumor spread around. I was in Nigeria at that time. 
That time it was exploding, doom, doom, doom. I was watching the television. They rushed, they came and hit the door and said, come out. I said, what? They said, come out of the house. I said, why? They said, things may drop, come out of the house. This explosion, Nigeria is under attack. <laughs> so I came out of the house. I thought, what will I do now? So I was standing and I thought, oh, weekend, this is weekend. <laughs> I, I, I thought this is weekend. I'm going to go to church and I've not shaved. I've not uh, given my hair cut. So let me just, why this thing is exploding? Let me just go and, <laughs> and get my hair cut. I was so cool. Why? <laughs> I, I, I dealt with fear. So I entered into my, my car, my car that my sister gave to me to use that time. I got into my car, started it. And people were looking at me. The security man was looking at me. I said, open the, do the okay. gate. And he opened the gate and I drove out. As I drove out, <laughs> I was about to go a little further to the main road, out of the residential area. My sister ran and she came to the front of the car. She said, you will have to kill me before you go where you are going. I said, what is happening? Are you fine? She said, I'm fine. Then I said, what? She said, can't you hear it is exploding? Well, how are you going where you are going? I I'm said, it is exploding. Scared. I said, I'm not scared. It's exploding. I'm going to shave. She said, shave. You are going to shave. In this war, Nigeria is under attack. <laughs> Saints, people <laughs> are scared. So she told me to go back. So I said, okay to fulfill her heart desire because she was crying and she stood in front of the car. So I reversed my car and drove back to back home. After about uh, the evening time and the real news started spreading that it is not an attack on Nigeria. It was a, it was a um, mistake someone did to put some heat thing where there was harms and the arms started shooting by themselves. So they told all Nigerians to be calm, everything is fine. And I told them, I said, you see, all of you are all panicking. I would have gone to shave. They said, how could you go to shave? I said, Nigeria is not under attack. Many people fear so many things. But when you have overcome fear, mm. no matter what happens, your spirit is stable. Your heart is focused mm. on God. Let's read Psalm 112 about a man that fears the Lord, when there okay. is evil tidings, what happens? Yeah. But before that, I want you to explain, because people are very confused when uh, in Christians, when they say that, okay, fine, now you say we should not fear. Then why does the Bible say, talk about the fear of the Lord? What kind of fear is that? If we're talking about not to fear, but the Bible says there's one we should fear. Uh, even in, in Matthew 10, 28, hmm. uh, Jesus said, Fear not. fear not the one that destroys the body, body. but uh, is able to, to destroy both body both body and soul soul mm. and spirit in hell in matthew 10 28 that's the first time i understood that we have to have fear for the lord now fear of the lord is not something that torments you yes. it's not something that makes you it shake is shake not shake out of sin nature it yeah. did not come out of love Yes. This is but love. This fear. is fear in love. Yeah. So it's called reverential fear. You give reverence to Respect. God. Respectful fear. It's not the kind of fear you used to fear your father. When your father comes, you shut up your mouth. You're mm. not able to talk anymore. And then uh, once you hear his car parking in the garage, you run, turn yes. off the television, pra, pra, you just arrange the house, and you go to your bed. Yes. Not that kind of See, fear. See, even be be because <coughs> if you don't have the fear of the Lord, if you don't have that re reverential fear mm. for what he commanded mm. for his word, mm. you will go doing whatever you want yes. to do. So that already opens a way to get into s disobedience mm. and that calls for fear, yes. calls for sin. Yes. And sin brings fear, yes. initiates fear in you. Yes. So first we must have the fear for God. Yes. That's reverential fear mm. for God, fear for the word of God, mm. that we must abide by the word and do his commands. And that is fear of the Lord. 
loving know, being him. conscious of God's word, being always being conscious of who God is and what He has done to us, and how we must abide in, under in His, His word. word is fear of the Lord. So when we do, we are obeying the commands of the Lord, and when we are acting and obeying the commands of the Lord, the tormenting fear that comes from the sin nature of the enemy cannot come in us. Yes. That's the easiest way, you know. When I got to know the righteousness of God, that I have a right stand before God to mm. stand right because of the blood of Jesus I could do away with the fear problem in my life because my consciousness always I was conscious of darkness I was conscious of uh, fear for darkness I was conscious of uh, uh, inferiority complex of the way I look and you know comparison mm. with people mm. so, uh, consciousness of uh, uh, success, fear for mm. success, mm. and all these things brought fear mm. and kept under a kind of bondage. Mm. But when I learned about <coughs> the righteousness that God loves me, that I have a right stand before God, mm. and I must do what God tells me to do, mm. when that sank into me, the fear just automatically left me. Amen. That's my experience of so dealing with fear. Consciousness. Yes, consciousness. because those times, as you referred back then, eight, nine years back, God spoke to you when we got married about deal with your fears, mm. otherwise these fears will deal Overcome, with you yeah. one day. So when you said that, I remember you told me those things and we made a list. And that time I had these conflicts inside of my heart. And, and that time I learned where the righteousness of God when you taught us that we have right standing before God. When we are right in front of God, obviously we are not under a consciousness of guilt, condemnation, yes. inferiority and uh, all this. And so when that happens, fears. the root of fear was affected in my life. Amen. Like the root of fear was initiated in Adam's life when he disobeyed God. But when I decided to obey God because I am righteous, because of the blood of Jesus on the cross that was shed for me, the root of fear was dealt and it was uprooted out of my life. And I, I did not even deal with the darkness and all those things. It just flew away. Fear just went off. The God's love just embraced me. And it's true that the word of God says we have spirit of fear. As I accepted the love of God for my life, these fears just flew away out of my life. And I was able to be bold Amen. and do whatever God wants me to do without having a single doubt, mm. confusion, mm. or any, any kind of complexes in my life. Absolutely no fear. And we together dealt with all those issues. That, so consciousness. Yeah, so yeah, consciousness, consciousness is important. Consciousness of what God said, uh, it, it deactivates the yes. power of fear. It your bring, yeah, because you make you reverential yes, fear, fear yes, him, yes. give him a reverential fear, a respectful fear. Yes. So, for example, when everyone is worshiping, you know what is done for you. Yes. You know who yeah. he is to you. You must focus on him instead of focusing on, oh, I'm a sinner. I am doing like this. Oh, this is what I did. This is wrong I did. How will I face God? That's why people run away from God when they commit something wrong instead of running to God. Because when you run to him, there is a solution and he's always open to for you to come to him. Amen. <coughs> so when we are conscious of what God has said, we could show him, we can show him reverential fear. Yes. I want us to read that book, Proverbs, what you were saying off the camera, Proverbs yeah, 19, 19 verse, verse 23, 23 says, The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, oh. and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Wow, it's That's such a wonderful. beautiful verse. This is what actually happened to me. That's wonderful. Let me read this from BBE. Mm. The fear of the Lord gives life, yes. so it doesn't torment you. No. Yes. See? The fear of the Lord gives life. And, and he, he who has it will abide. have need of wow. nothing. This one yes. says. He will, will be have satisfied. He will have need of nothing. Yes. No evil will come his way. Mm. They are so confident and focused on God. Mm. They are not looking for anything in this world that can bring fear. First time I heard a man of God, first time I discovered this verse, first time I heard a man of God said that there is a, a realm evil does not visit. Yes, God said. I thought, wow, <laughs> Bishop David Report. first time he told me that. There is a realm evil does not visit. Mm. Then he had wonderful testimonies of how ham robbers came to his home and could not see him and was sitting on the yeah, chair. When could you not see in him. that realm, evil can He was sitting on the chair, Hallelujah. could not see him. Okay, so when he said there is a realm, evil does not visit, it struck my heart. Yes. And when I saw this verse, I saw it, I said, that's correct. 
The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and in the heart it shall abide satisfied. There shall no evil that shall befall him. Mm. Evil shall not come near his dwelling. That's what he says. Yes. He also said that when your man's ways please the Lord, he makes his enemy to mm. be at peace with yes. him. God is that way. Amen. When we when we have fear for the Lord, but what is that different. realm? What is that realm about? This realm. This this realm. This realm is the place where you are with Him, right? Yes. So if you are with God, you cannot be visited with Walking evil. Walking with Him, obeying you cannot be visited His with, word. Because fear of the Lord gives life, mm. and life expels death. Amen. Faith works life. Yes. Fear works death. Yeah. So when life comes. Fear has to go. Yes. So when fear is expelled, uh, you are sure to be in the secret place of the Most High. Amen. Hallelujah. And that is a place where. Uh, 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 of God's love. Yes, that's the place where uh, the fear cannot visit. Yeah, cannot operate. Amen. So there is a realm, saints. There is a realm. A place. There is a place. They operate from the spiritual Yes, place. yes, where fear should not visit Amen. where evil should Cannot not visit, visit you. the secret place Amen. and it's a place where God dwells as secret you have heard and place. as you have known this truth Bible says when you know the truth the truth will make you free yes I tell you that I've, from this broadcast if you have understood and if you have known the truth you don't need prayer you are free of fear may make the decision as you have known the truth that you will embrace what God's Word says and do what he says instead of fearing and focusing on the negative things of this life. Mm. I tell you and I assure you by God's word that you are free of fear in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is Apostle Edmonds and Prophetess Joanna saying to you, Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmonds Okorode. Hello and I'm Prophetess Joanna Okorode. I'm here to inform you that our broadcast has changed every Friday 9 p.m. will be on air here in this channel and uh, online you can get and watch our channel our yes our programs 24 hours through our website and you will never remain the same and you will see some other wonderful things also in our YouTube channel get connected God bless you 9 p.m. every Friday God bless you. Come partner with us. Type www.worldsalvation.org And there you are in the page. Under donation, click on EOM Partnership. Here, the page displays EOM Online Partnership. You click on the right options and don't forget to click on the browse button and select your clear picture and click submit and you get a thank you response that easy to become a partner with us in preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ that easy thank you for watching atmosphere of love we know you have been blessed to partner with us use the details now showing on the screen Jesus is Lord